I've now seen you guys four weeks in a row. I think this relationship is getting pretty serious and I think we should make it official. This week's vlog is about making an acrylic purse. I collaborated with Zach, someone who's very special to me. I'm so lucky because Zach is an artist in residence at Autodesk. They have 3D printers, they have laser cutters, water jet machines, they have everything you could possibly think of. I took a tour of that place, it's insane and very inspiring. Zach and I kind of put our heads together and made a sketch of something that we thought was doable within four to five hours. He basically was telling me about this pattern, which is a living hinge pattern. It's a kerf pattern, and it makes it so this acrylic, which would typically be very hard and relatively unbendable, it makes it bendable. After we made our original sketch, he created a flat version and dropped it into a program, which then transfers that pattern to a laser cutter, which is how we cut and created this big acrylic piece, which is essentially, when you flatten it out, just a rectangle. And then you'll see here that it's just cutting out all the pieces, it's cutting out this pattern, every little slit that you see. And then obviously cut the rectangle. So we then created these teardrop shapes that you see here, which act as the side panels of the bag, and then used an acrylic cement to bond the main piece with the side panels. It's not a glue, it's basically a bonding agent that melts the acrylic and obviously bonds the two pieces together. It took a lot of patience and time. This is literally the only thing that I contributed to this entire process. But I think it's, you know, a very key step in the process, so I'm proud of it. After I was done with that and after it had sat for a little bit so that the cement could dry, we inserted the hinges that I bought and inserted the strap. And that's really it. Pretty cool, right? I'm actually really proud of the final product, so I'm excited to style this in my future posts. I'm sorry if I didn't explain what we were doing really well, but I did the best I could. Thank you for the beauty of laser cutting. These things are now possible and are easier than ever. A big thank you to Zach for helping me with this project. And of course, a big thank you to you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys next week.